Hi, today it's pineapple rind juice. I have my homemade apple cider vinegar, two large pineapples, fresh ginger, some filtered water, and my liner or insert for my Instapot. Because I'm going to use the pineapple rind, it's very important for me to give this a really good scrub. So I'm going to use like a lukewarm water and give it a scrub with my all entrusted IKEA brush. So some water, get it wet, give it a good dose of soap, and then I start scrubbing and I'm going to try and get as much of this pineapple rind as possible so I have to get up close to the top of the pineapple as possible and then I scrub it in circles as there's all kinds of little crevices on the pineapple rind. We don't know who has touched this rind, what it's come in contact with, so it's just a really good idea to give it a great scrubbing. It can't hurt. I used to look at pineapples and go, why would anybody want to buy a pineapple? You cut off the rind, you take out the core, and you get a little bit of pineapple flesh. I just didn't think that it was worth buying or going through the hassle of prepping it. I've since learned that pineapple rind and pineapple core have great benefits. And I can't say the name off the top of my head right now, but I will look it up and I will post it in the blog the benefits of pineapple. Give it a really good rinse because now we want to make sure. I use another brush that is free of soap and scrub to make sure I get all the soap off. I cut the bottom off and I use about, oh I'd say an inch, inch and a half of a cut makes it easier and then I take my knife and on an angle I cut down into the fleshy part and then I will take off any of the center that's good and this actually has the core in it I was talking about the core when I was cleaning the pineapple. It is uh, very beneficial. You want to keep the core. Don't throw the core out. So the rind goes in the pot. The pineapple goes into my canister. And I just carry on like so. I take the top off and I do the same thing I did with the bottom. I give it quite a deep cut and again I angle the knife and I bring it to the center. And then I grab the core. You get similar pieces from the top as you did from the bottom that way. And I do the same thing. I take the rind off and I start putting the pineapple in my container for fruit salad. Now the pineapple is prepped. It sits flat and nice and secure and I do a cut and I just let my knife follow the angle of the pineapple. I cut it in half or so, so the chunks are a little on the smaller side, and I throw them in the pot. 
And then I just use that guideline for following through to get through most of the spots that are just under the rind. And then I'll just do some spot checks. Here I have a little bit more where I didn't go deep enough. Finish them up. Put the pineapple off to the side. Chop these up, put them in the pot. You can see that I get pretty close. It's, I don't like waste. I probably sound like a broken record, but I can't help it. At this point, I know most people, most people don't go for the core of the pineapple because they find it a little tough and coarse. And I'd have to say that possibly at one point I was the same, but I have learned to change my taste palette. So if you were the person that doesn't want to eat the core, I would then take the pineapple and cut it in slices so that it's easier to put it in the fruit salad. I, I might freeze some of this for future fruit smoothies and then just put it in my dollar store container. And then I continue on like that, but it, the knife up close to the core, turn it on its side. When I cut, I try to make sure that I'm working with a flat surface so that my whatever I'm cutting doesn't roll. So sometimes I will cut a flat bottom into something because I've cut myself many times having the knife roll. So again, I just go back to the core, slice down the edge. I want to give this a slice. So I can cube it. I love pineapple. Pineapple and cottage cheese. I also do, I've done the rind where I just put it fresh in the juicer. So this is one of two ways that I actually use the rind. And the pineapple is prepped for all intents purposes. That didn't take long. And I got quite a bit of pineapple from that one pineapple. Then in this case, because I want to be able to have as much released from the core as possible, I'm going to cube this and then chop it into smaller pieces before I put it into the liner. I don't know if it's a liner, or an insert. I, I tend to call it the pot that goes in the Instapot. And voila, the pineapple is prepped. The second pineapple, I decided I'm going to keep the core for eating. So I line it up and I give it a slice like so. Give it a turn. And now I have pineapple ready to go into my canister. Just about eight cups of rind in my 
Instapot. Time to prep ginger. So take the ginger. I take off the nibby stuff. Make it easier to handle. Get a potato peeler. Ginger adds a nice bite slash flavor to the juice. And of course, ginger root has its own benefits. And I will post that to the blog as well. Okay, so I make it flat. Then I lay it on the flat side. And then I make it into slivers. And I put it into the pot. Depending on how much you like ginger, I love lint ginger, but I personally like spicy food. So I'm going to prep just a little bit more ginger. So we have ginger in there and pineapple rind. Time to add filtered water. And I want to put enough in there. There. So if I push down, it's a little bit over the fruit and a splash of my apple cider vinegar and into the instapot we go the lid on lock it put the valve to the back as we're pressure cooking come down here to manual Mine goes into automatic. I don't know if yours does, but mine goes into automatic, high pressure. In a moment, there'll be a beep. There we go, which indicates it's a set it and forget it. I turn the Instapot off and let it depressurize naturally. And there's the pineapple juice. And it smells great. I brought it over to the sink and I like to put the jug in the sink and then use the tap as a holder for the handle of my strainer because I'm doing this by myself. And then the pot's cooled down. It's not cold by any means, but it's cooled down enough that I can handle it. And I just pour my juice into the jug. You can drink it cold or you can drink it hot. Either way, it works great. Mm, that's refreshing. Oh, on a cold winter's day, that is so good. I also like to mix this with my oolong iced tea, sort of like a 50-50 mix. I also will put the juice in my fruit smoothies as a liquid factor. So there's all kinds of uses for the pineapple rind. 